guys the video i have for you today is one where it's a call that just kept on giving but when i called the customer and said please tell me what you're experiencing he said when it was really cold my bedroom was terribly cold and then the other day i tried to turn on the air conditioning and the blower didn't work and it started making a screeching noise so those were the symptoms described to me here it comes. All right, so when you turn on the cooling, this fan did not come on. Is that right? Yeah, I'm about to do it right now. Did you just turn it off? Uh-uh. It's still staying cool. Let me get something to put my knees on. It's wet out here. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Got the back and setting it again. Let me set it again and we wait. Um. Now it says delayed. That's what's been happening. Like you go to click it and it'll say like auxiliary heat or regular heat. Okay. Is that the fan button? It's your contactor brings on the condenser. All right. That's supposed to be a 7.5 and we got a 6.2. That's not enough to make it stop though. Contactors burnt.
right, the drains are open. That'll keep it from He came and sprayed some coal conditioner cleaner up there. And I did it two other times. And it'll kick it out initially. Okay. Let me make sure I don't have power. I hate to keep calling you, man. Well, this right here is something that is fixable. Man, we gotta. I said we got a mess right here. There's wire nuts and tape and sometimes these motors don't come with leads that are long enough to get back to nothing. Too old. That shaft is not rusty. in there up and down holy smokes look at that free as it can be. I see what's that right there. That set screw is that's causing a problem. Come on. 
bunch of calls when all of them went over third call. All those gotta go. Why did they have to put these holes so close to these cross members? By the way, the, the plugs were in the top like they're supposed to be. And I haven't checked the bottom of it yet. And look at that. That right there lines right up if I'd have had, you know, something. Nope. I don't have the screws. Oh. So, uh, I guess it don't make much of a difference, does it? Now, if I had been replacing the stock motor, I would have had the screws. Or an OEM motor, excuse me. are open I know you're gonna criticize me for this but I'm gonna do it anyway
All right, we need that to turn clockwise shaft in, so counterclockwise lead in. Counterclockwise rotation. Come on, where's my four clockwise rotation switch, yellow and orange leads? a screw okay yeah yeah I got a few screws loose but am I missing one I think I am here it is <clears throat> now what I pulled out was a third horse Not there. Outdoor fan. A third horse. So we're going with one half. Oh yeah, especially with this company. The, yeah, 
So I see you buy my time and wait for it to crash. Yep. Now, in the meantime, as far as that smell goes, though, you said it's still giving you that smell, right? Yeah. Okay, I thought a little while ago you said it didn't. It still is, and it's like a, well, you know the smell. Kind of like dirty socks? It's not mildew. It's like an old smell. Kind of dirty socks, I mean... It just ain't clean, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, we can install one of those um, air purifiers on it. But, um... Would the warranty pay for it? No. No, they will not. you like working with Old Republic? Um, they're one of the better ones. There, there's a couple of them. Well, actually, there's a bunch of them that I will not work with, but... Um, what, do they just try to get out of paying for stuff? <laughs> yeah, and... It, it's just a mess, and some of them ain't, ain't worth messing with. Old Republic's one of the good ones, though. Second year, you know, 2020, 2021, and 2022, I paid for it. And it's coming up annually, you know, it's really it's the fourth year I paid for it. It's like $775. A year? Yeah. Mm. Well, if you've been saving that for four years, you'd be more than halfway towards a new one what's a new one called you know, i just quoted one similar to this um and it was between six and seven thousand and old republic will pay a hundred percent of that no there's always non coverage okay so how if i'm just doing math how much of that six or seven thousand will they cover um They'll cover the labor, the um, equipment. If, if they'll decide to replace it for some reason, they'll cover the labor, the equipment. And that's about it. If there's anything different about the new system we're putting in, like um, duct modifications and need to do a new rain hood or a different pad or electrical modifications they don't cover that they'll cover the labor for pulling one out exactly like this and putting another one in without replacing the pad or the rain hood no i'm not going to tell you how to sabotage it i like to fix them i don't want to tear them up Listen. Let's do this contactor while I'm at it. Thank you. 
Oops. What do you do for a living? Well, for an insurance company out of Atlanta, the third party wholesaler, we try to get insurance agents the right business to us. I see. On the road. Visiting companies and. Yeah, roughly. My territory is Mobile to Birmingham and then Columbus, Georgia, Macon, Savannah. All the towns in between, all the way down to the Oscar. I'm halfway on the road, halfway working for me. I gotta, I gotta take a call and quit me no more. Oh, yeah. <sighs> That's what you find it. People were just begging for somebody to come out, couldn't get anybody to help them. And I said, I'll come, but you know, it's. You charging them to drive? Oh yeah, five hundred dollars round trip. No shit. Yep. And if I have to make another round trip, same thing. I couldn't get anybody about Austin closer. Um, I thought Quitman was over, like between Columbus and. Oh, you talking Quitman County, Georgetown? It's like Lake Evola or Quitman, Georgia. I thought it was Quitman, Georgia. That's going south toward Valdosta. Oh, okay. Like in between Thomasville and Valdosta. Oh my God, I got a road trip ahead of me. It's probably only about an hour and 10, 15 minutes. But where you live, Leesburg, Albany? Yeah, my shop's on Lido Road. Yeah. So um, it's actually in Lee County, but I have an Albany address. There's Quitman County. So how did the city of Quitman get so far away from Quitman County? Quitman, Georgia. 70 miles. Yeah, it's in between Valdosta and Georgia. Yeah, Valdosta and Thomasville. Hour and 36 minutes away though. Well. You go to Moultrie and keep going. Go to Moultrie and keep going. Normally, the only time I go to Moultrie is for like that car show they have down there. Yeah. I enjoy that. I like to go on shop those vintage license plates and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah, I got a small collection of those. What's the oldest one you got? 22. Do what now? 1922. Holy shit. Where'd <laughs> you find it? Um, at that Moultrie car show. That And that one's, if I'm not mistaken, that one's from Nebraska. Dang. 
What's the going rate for something like that? Like 40 bucks. I'm not too bad. Alright. Let's put power to it. Alright. All my reds and oranges on one side. Blacks on the other. Oh. Did I catch that? Y'all see what I did. God, that would hurt if you got popped, wouldn't it? <laughs> Shit. Oh, wow. There's power there. Oh, yeah, that would have hurt. Dang. I shot myself the other day. How bad? Not too bad, but you know, it's like 120 volts, but it still don't tickle. I did that on my dryer. It almost took me back. Like you just, element of surprise, you know? Yeah, yeah. you ain't never expecting it. No. You think your fingers are far enough away and, <laughs> and if you just barely touch it, it's gonna get you. Try that again. should last you until this thing dies. Yeah. I put on a high quality motor. volts to this right here Much 
because I'm wanting to go on to the next one. I gotta figure out what's up with this one. two of those I'm already down one That's the wrong kind. I need the I need the home line kind. off <clears throat> this, this one is one that just keeps on giving now we got 240 Whew. All right, so I don't know how much of that I'm gonna be able to 
going to use, but that one's done. That was a, a good job, a nice little paycheck. Thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all on the next one.